spilled the salt. Pass some salt over your right shoulder. What the hell? <laughs> he tosses the entire dispenser. You gonna eat that? Yeah. <laughs> Not the loogie. Oh, Loogie and Mario. You really wimped out. That guy's a peach. What's good, everybody? I'm Mr. Valentine. Nice to be with you here today. I am watching Dumb and Dumber for the first time. Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels. Jim Carrey, I know primarily from my favorite film of all time, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And obviously, I've seen him in Liar Liar more times than I can count. So I'm excited to see what he has in store for your boy today. And Jeff Daniels, I've primarily seen only exclusively in another fantastic film, The Squid and the Whale. Noah Baumbach, anybody? But yeah, uh, I know this is going to be a goofy trip. And I, for one, cannot wait to tap into this world. Thank you for being here. If you want to support the channel, like this video. Leave me some comments down below to assist with the outgo rhythm and share it if you have some fellow movie lovers in your orbit. I appreciate all my patrons over there on the Patreon. You guys are the salts of the earth collectively. Special shout out goes to my Prestige Worldwide members, KDS, Russian Paul, Robert M, and Elijah J. So I appreciate you being here right now and sharing your time with me. But without further ado, Dummy Dumber coming to you. See you on the other side. Excuse me. Could you tell me how to get to the medical school? It's in my driver's a bit lost. All right. You go straight ahead, over to bridge. That's a lovely accent you have. <laughs> I concur. New Jersey? Austria. In New Jersey. Austria. <laughs> Good day, mate. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. That's, uh, that's close enough. The dingo ate my Austrian baby. Let's not. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so. <laughs> he said, my limo driver. Uh, right. Gonna keep us on our toes. Not unlike the beginning of Willy Wonka when Gene Wilder came out with their cane. Who is he, the dog whisperer? Caesar Milan? In your dreams. What are you insinuating? Suck me sideways. Side sucker? Would you find that in the Karma Sutra, I wonder? Hello, how are you? Better now. I'll be out in one minute. You're not gonna be. <laughs> You're not gonna be out of his mind in one minute. You're living in there rent free. Flying somewhere? Aspen. Mm, California. Beautiful. Name's Christmas. Lloyd Christmas. I'm Mary Swanson. That's what we're gonna call it. I got worms. We're gonna specialize in selling worm farms. You know, like ant farms. <laughs> That's a niche market. There's really nothing to worry about, Mary. Statistically, they say you're more likely to get killed on the way to the airport. <laughs> uh, you know, like uh, in a head on. I don't think that limo has autopilot. It's the worst. I have this cousin. Well, I have this cousin. Boy, could you keep on the road, please? <laughs> An explosion in the background. And they just keep driving. I bathe them and I clip them myself. And I stand by my performance. <laughs> you know, on second thought, you might just want to run a comb through them. <laughs> a comb. They've been Jackson Pollocked. That was the girl from Insidious and something about Mary. Okay, there's a Peter Farrelly universe, which I respect. Hey, how about a hug? Oh, he's one of those, huh? Where my hug at kind of guy. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> I think I think Lloyd has seen one too many rom coms. She's gonna leave the briefcase near the escalator. You make the pickup. Intrigue already. What is Mary up to? A little espionage? Goodbye, my love. 
<laughs> That's an unfortunate swing of events. There's our payday. Opens it and it's just a suitcase full of payday bars. Move it or lose it, oh man. You can't go in there. It's okay. I'm a little driver. <laughs> if that's not top security clearance, I don't know what is. <laughs> Why are you falling? It's like them falling in Family Guy. Such a peculiar land. So you get fired again, huh? Oh yeah. They always freak out when you leave the scene of an accident, you know? <laughs> it's frowned upon. The most beautiful woman alive. I drove her to the airport. Sparks flew. She actually talked to me, man. I don't know if that was for all parties involved. <clears throat> Sucked me right in. Anyway. Sucked you in sideways. Did you pay the gas bill? Hey, I said we bail. Okay. Overdue, <laughs> overdue gas bill. They live in a dystopian universe. Briefcase ain't here. You must have taken it with him. Ah. Oh. I thought I told him. Put a cat. I did, I did. Not the parakeet. Leave the birds out of this. Avian crime is intolerable. Okay, just get the bare essentials. This is the last of our dough. <laughs> Does that say Rhode Island slut? Okay. That better be an acronym. Or is that a smut magazine? <laughs> he said get the essentials and he's carrying a box full of pinwheels. What does your day look like, Lloyd? I need answers. Pronto. Excuse me, little lady. <laughs> hey, she was zooming on him. Uh, you have change of a dollar? Change? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Oh. She's the mother in, she's the grandmother, Bubby, in Pineapple Express. Well, uh, could you do me a favor and watch my stuff here? Senior citizens, although slow and dangerous behind the wheel, can still serve a purpose. <laughs> I'll be right back. Don't you go dying on me! <laughs> Don't you go die. <laughs> Octogenarians have value. Who would have thunk, Lloyd? <laughs> I got robbed by a sweet old lady on a motorized cart. Didn't even see it come. She was a hooligan. A hover around hooligan. I'd like to see that spinoff. My parakeet Petey. He's dead. His head fell off. His head. Ah. Yeah, he was pretty old. <laughs> He thinks that's a natural progression in the life of the parakeet. Decapitation? We gotta get out of this town! Yeah, and go where? Where are we gonna go? A place where the beer flows like wine. Where beautiful women instinctively <laughs> flock like the salmon of Capistrano. He <laughs> said beer flows like wine? Yeah, you just wanna go to Aspen and find that girl who lost her briefcase and you need me to drive you there, right? Am I right? Yeah, Am I so? right? Am I right? <laughs> Can't sneak anything past Harry. You know what I'm sick and tired of, Harry? I'm sick and tired of having to eke my way through life. Aw. Nice tonal shift. Look at his eyes. Jim Carrey got range, man. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> We've reached our sentimentality quota. Get out of here. Ugh. Go on. I sold some stuff to Billy and Porcy. The blind kid? What did you sell him, Lloyd? <coughs> Petey. Petey? Oh, that's... You sold my dead bird to a blind kid? Lloyd, oh. that, that, you, you... That's diabolical. If... Pretty oh. bird. Yeah, can you say pretty bird? Pretty bird. Yes, pretty. That's so dark, dude. That's so dark. <laughs> oh, Billy. God, no compunction. It's on my headless bird. That's duct taped up. 
Andre have a goddamn hemorrhage room get that briefcase. Oh, that is the beginning. That, that was just that's Billy's villainous origin story. Feels good to mingle with these laid back country folk, don't it, Harry? I like it a lot. <laughs> Why do you say I like it a lot? Like you spilled the salt. Pass some salt over your right shoulder. What the hell? <laughs> he tosses the entire dispenser. All right, who's a dead man and hit me with the salt shaker? Uh-oh. <laughs> Not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, looks, he looks out the window. I would never do anything to offend a man of your size. Kick his ass, sea bass. Sea bass. How'd you get that name? You gonna eat that? Yeah. <sighs> Not the loogie. Oh, loogie and Mario. You really wimped out. That guy's a peach. I just want to apologize. I'd like to buy you guys a round of beers just to bury the hatchet. What you got up your sleeve here, Lloyd? Sea bass and the fellows offered to pick up our check. They said just put it on their tab. Sea bass said that. He's playing chess. All right, that's what he wants. Lloyd has demonstrated some ingenuity. Got that going for him. I know this isn't the best time, but oh, I'm not, I'm not pulling over now. The bladder is the matter. You're whizzing one of the empty beer bottles in the back. You're on the floor. <laughs> Ninety-nine bottles of urine on the wall. Ninety-nine bottles of urine. You take one down, you piss it around. The cup runneth over. Wordplay. I'm, I'm a sucker for some wordplay. You fellas been doing a bit of boozing, have you? It's against the law to have an open alcohol container here in the state of Pennsylvania. Come on, give me that booze, you little pumpkin pie hair cutted freak. Come on. Oh, that's distasteful. Sir, oh. Wait, 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 wait. No, sir, <coughs> don't drink. Keep your mouth shut if you knew it was good for you, buddy. No, he's not going to drink it. He's not. Mmm. Oh my goodness gracious. That's unpalatable. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <gasps> that is abominable. I bet that cop is pissed off. Makes sense. I left the money exactly where they instructed me to. Uh, we should have called the authorities the minute we knew that Bobby was kidnapped. Oh, ransom notes. Extortion. I mean, you never know what they might do to him then. That's foreboding and ominous. Who is Bobby and will he see it through the end of this movie? I saw the city in the rain. This is a quixotic daydream. <laughs> oh, where you hang? <laughs> a little rump, still skin. Gluteus Maximus, vantage point. <laughs> Flatulent humor. Flatulence, am I right? Farts are very eloquent. Farticulate, if you will. <laughs> this is absurd. This is absurdity. <laughs> quit, quit monkeying around, Floyd, before you get your arse handed to you. Oh. <laughs> ah, Kevin Hart. Suddenly the sun broke. 
Who's going to have the heart to tell him that this is a one-way romance? <laughs> your, your headlights are on. Snap back to reality. <laughs> Up there goes gravity. Up there goes rabbit. He choked. He's so mad, but he. According to the map, we've only gone about four inches. You know, I don't think we have enough gas for it. <laughs> Axe. We have more than enough. <laughs> only gone about four inches. He's a regular cartographer. See, uh, are you guys going to Davenport? We usually don't pick up hitchhikers. <laughs> but I'm going to go with my instinct on this one. <laughs> oh, are your wires crossed? Hey. Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> you think we could listen to the radio or something? <laughs> Who needs a radio? Cuba Gooden Jr. Say it. Don't say it. She's gonna buy <laughs> Oh, he's like, that's it. I've had enough. Had it not been for the Hispanics, you guys would have been expired. Yeah, okay, you're on. Mm. Is this the inspiration for Hot Ones, hosted by Sean Evans? <laughs> That's the one that's spicy meat, the ball of With all due respect. I'm just sitting down to a nice meal with our boys. Oh, how nice for you. Don't forget that your bread plate is on the left. Look, I can't have these guys running around. What about the salad fork? Is it on the right? I'm gonna be running around nowhere after I dump a little rat poison in their Shirley Temple. Oh, rats. Rats all, folks. So what are you gonna ask for? Vacation? Why don't you eat up and we'll tell you. <laughs> this doesn't seem like you pack much. Uh, <laughs> no, no, the briefcase isn't even ours. Some lady left at the airport. We're just bringing it back to her. You mean you don't even know her? <laughs> you don't know how close you were to meeting your maker, Maker's Mark. Be in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> oh, he has an ulcer. He's got gas. Huh. <laughs> Instantaneously. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you okay, man? It was just a goof. Ow. Survey says no, he's not okay. In fact, thanks for asking. He's resisting me. Pills are good. Where did you get those pills from, buddy? You know what? Occupational hazard being hoisted on your own petard. Check, please. <laughs> Check, please. No doubt about it. We found these next to the body. We just received a report. They were seen headed west. They're driving an 84 sheepdog. Out of the frying pan of mistaken identity into the fire of persons of interest. Harry and Lloyd can't catch a break. Skis, huh? <laughs> Hell of an icebreaker. The yours? Uh huh. Both of them? Yeah. <sighs> cool. Shoot your shot, Harry. Shoot your shot. Excuse me, but you're uh, spraying everywhere. Oh. Pull it together. Pull it together. Uh, I don't think he's talking about camaraderie here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wrong place, right time, I think. I don't think it's, this is the romance he was looking for, honestly. He's cruising for bruising. Mm. That's a lot of sea bass trying to get some. Thank you. You know, I'm uh, heading up to Aspen.
Aspen myself. Maybe we could. <laughs> no, you're heading up in flames there, brother. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm going to give you my number. Let me find the. Great. Let's go. All right. Nine zero five. Wait a minute, that's my old number. That is so weird how your mind just goes. Sparks are flying. You should give me the damn number. <laughs> okay, look, uh, you gonna get pushy? Forget about it. Ah oh, man, you hate to see it. Oh no, oh, no, sea bass. Buy him a drink first. I guess you did earlier. <laughs> oh. Did he get there in time? Before something unmentionable took place? Is the thumb a phallic symbol? Let me know in the comments if the thumb is a phallic symbol. Hey guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs> That's my version of small talk. Small talk is the bane of my existence. Now we don't have enough money to get to Aspen? I'm walking home. Oh, well, pardon me, Mr. Okay. Perfect! <laughs> hey, hey, say uh, anything you want about Lloyd, but he's very resourceful. Oh. Uh, that sure is warm. <laughs> now that's friendship right there. I got your back. You piss on mine. Through thick and thin. I'm gonna get a log cabin. Somewhere in Aspen. T-Pain anybody. Trials and trip. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do now? Oh man! I can't feel my fingers anymore. Lloyd, they're, they're they're numb. Maybe you should wear these extra gloves. <laughs> my hands are starting to get sweaty. This entire time. <laughs> You've had this pair of extra gloves this whole time. <laughs> yeah. We're in the Rockies. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. What? <laughs> I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, Lloyd. Kill you. <laughs> it is hysterical. <laughs> Buku, baby. Buku. And we'll, we'll keep track of all the money we spent with IOUs. We'll be meticulous. Right down to the last penny. Whatever we borrow, we pay back. Absolutely. We're good for it. We're, it's our bond. Integrity. They they are men of integrity. An embassy to Japan. <laughs> because Prince and I, when they were together, used to frequent the... <laughs> we're going to use the bare necessities. Cut to them in a sumptuous hotel room. Where's the Motel 8? They'll leave the light on for you. Yeah. Wait, is that them? That's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, they're just making it rain, dude. <laughs> life, life gave them a briefcase full of lemons. And by George, they make a lemonade. Not unlike Harry did to Lloyd's back. He made some lemonade of a kind. Less desirable, but you take my point. International Preservation Society tomorrow night. Well, come on, Cinderella. We gotta get you ready for the ball. <laughs> yeah, that's no problem, Lloyd. We can be classy and sophisticated. Look at the fun bags on that hose. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to eat her liver with some farver beans and a nice bottle of key ante. <laughs> oh, Silence of the Lambs reference. <laughs> Owl preservationists. Owl be a son of a gun. Why don't you go over and introduce yourself? That way, you can build me up. 
now so I won't have to brag about myself later. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think <laughs> okay, I can know. Come on. He needs a wingman. Come on. Nice set of hooters you got there. I beg your pardon? The owls are beautiful. <laughs> I, I thought he wasn't talking about the restaurant. Which, can we talk about the restaurant? Is that a feminism spot? I love dogs too. You know, I've trained them. Mm. Bathed them, clipped them. I've even bred them. Any unusual breeding? No, mostly just doggy style. <laughs> That's an old wives tale. Dogs like missionary. Oh, uh, anyway, the um, real reason I came over here <laughs> to, I gotta introduce you to a buddy. He's peacocking. <laughs> I'm a peacock! You gotta let me fly! Yeah, about my friend. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm... Dun, 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 dun. Baby got back. L.A. with the Oakland booty. Mary is looking for someone to hit the slopes with. I think you kids will have a wonderful time. What do you say? Well, uh, well, you know, I don't know. I don't, you know, you know. Part of... Sure, what time? Oh. The loyalty. What about the Lloyd loyalty? Lecherous. Relax. You're golden. I got you a date with her tomorrow. This calls for a little of the bubbly. <laughs> You're gonna be my best man, Harry. Harry's been a little duplicitous, a little mendacious. At the head table, pal. <laughs> we already got the tuxes. <laughs> <laughs> One seventh of the owls. Well. Boy, this party really died. <laughs> That's owl she wrote. Yowza. How you doing? Forty-five minutes. I haven't been outside that much in the last couple of weeks. Why not? Family problems. But I don't want to bore you with those. Thanks. <laughs> oh, appreciate you sparing me there, Mary. There's something about Mary, though. Hi there. Hey, kid. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have a cup of warm water, would you? Shabby, please. Hello. I see you, story structure. I see you. Bad day, huh? Of course, everything's been bad since I broke up with my boyfriend. <laughs> She's throwing it at you. <laughs> She's reaching within her loins and throwing it at you. Did I just say loins? Oh my God. It'll only hurt for a moment, like a band-aid. Go. Oh. <laughs> Can't feel great, huh? <laughs> oh, the juvenile sense of humor, am I right? You wouldn't happen to know Mary Swanson, would you? Mary Swanson? Name dropping. She comes in here all the time. What's that supposed to mean? She has dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What are you insinuating, pal? That's my wife you're talking about. You know where she lives? Yeah, her family has the big place up on Alpine Drive. Moving the plot forward. No way. That's great. We landed on the moon! Man on the moon. Okay, Andy Kaufman. So you'll pick me up tonight at 7.45? Why don't we make it quarter to eight? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay, 7.45. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. You're splitting hairs, Harry. Splitting Harry? Oh, you hate to see it, the betrayal. Disloyalty? <laughs> He's so heartbroken. It makes him sick. Maybe she just had a change of heart. Oh, oh that pisses me off. That <laughs> I hate when women do that, you know? She wanted to see you again. She told me that. Let's <laughs> look is pissed off. He's seething, dude. I just figured she was a raging alcoholic. <laughs> 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 that's that's plausible. <laughs> when is he gonna drop the hammer on him? 
you conniving little so-and-so. Hey, Harry, old buddy, old pal. Yeah? Will you join me in a good luck toast before you head out? Uh-oh. Whatever you think will help your chances. He's about to bill Cosby, his best friend. Allegedly. That's why I want you to stay regular. Oh, okay. One half teaspoon for fast, effective relief. <laughs> it's slightly more desirable than a roofie. To my friend Harry, the matchmaker. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm, I'm... Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, make yourself at home, okay? I'm almost ready one minute. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Is a son of a preacher man, the only one who can ever teach me. Pope Fiction, anybody? Ooh. Oh. Houston, we have a gastrointestinal problem. Over. <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Matter of fact, I would wish that on my worst enemy. I don't know why people say that. They're your worst enemy, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> the face of release. Harry, are you in there? Be right out! I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. Oh, man. That is nightmarish. No, I was just shaving! Shaving? Shaving pounds off the scale. <laughs> Your plan is working like gangbusters. You have inconvenienced him and his rectum. With the heartbreaking story of the blind Rhode Island boy who was duped into buying a dead parakeet. <laughs> Thought he was real quiet. <laughs> That's morbid, dude. Who are these sick people? <laughs> that is a hell of a portraiture. You're right. <laughs> the picture that's being painted of him. I thought he was real quiet. It's insane. Lloyd, right? You remembered my name. <laughs> uh, do I hear wedding bells? You have my briefcase? Yeah. I have it at my hotel room. You want to jump on the bike with me? Your briefcase might be a slight bit lighter. Harry, I'm sorry, but something important's come up and I've got to run out. It, it's sort of an emergency. I'll explain later. Mary! I'm sorry, Harry. I, I've really got to go. I promise. Code red. Mary has a code red. You deal with your code brown. His plane is going off without a hitch. Hopefully they'll get hitched. Will Smith. This, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. With all due disrespect. When Lloyd Christmas drives a woman to the airport, he makes sure she gets all her luggage. That's my whole philosophy. <laughs> Incredible. You mean to say you drove 2,000 miles just for me? Didn't really have a, a, a lot to do. <laughs> and I know how frustrating it can be to lose a bag. <laughs> Fun bags? Alright, I guess that was the dry run. I heard you talking to someone. I desperately want to make love to a schoolboy. Maybe I should no, be going. No. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I gotta get out of here, dude. That's not what I meant. Take two and action. I like you a lot. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. <laughs> I like you a lot. What do you think the chances are of a guy like you and a girl like me ending up together? Don't don't say snowball's chance in hell. Don't say snowball's chance in hell. Hit me with it. Came a long way just to see you, Mary. Just least you can do is level with me. What are my chances? He's being vulnerable AF. Not good. You mean not good like one out of a hundred? <laughs> Say more like one out of a million. Oh. 
that's mortifying. Rick and mortifying. Uh, Rick? No, Morty. Wubba lubba dub dub. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! <laughs> I read you. Oh, I mean, ignorance is bliss. It's like Michael Scott's character. Dunning-Kruger effect has to have some kind of <laughs> benefit to you. What are you doing here? I've been looking for you, Mary. I have some news about your husband. Husband? What was all that one in a million talk? <laughs> Aren't you gonna invite me in? Oh. oh. Don't play dumb with me, asshole. I'm the rightful owner of that briefcase that you've been carrying around. My family trusted you. Shut up! Treacherous. Mr. Samsonite, about the briefcase, my friend Harry and... Mr. Samson. What is this? That's as good as money, sir. Those are IOUs. Go ahead and add it up. <laughs> A cornucopia of IOUs. <laughs> 275,000. Might want to hang on to that one. I thought there was going to be some money left. <laughs> they spent it. <laughs> Oh, that's humorous. We used to be best friends. Yeah, until he turned into a backstabber. Me a backstabber? You got a lot of nerve. We're like, back pisser. Maybe we should call it quits right now. You just tell me where to sign, bud. Right on my ass after you kiss it. Jesse, you kiss my... Oh, there's beef. I was the one that got you into this whole mess. Come on, shoot me. No, wait. Selflessness. Yesterday was one of the greatest days of my life. Mary and I went skiing... We made a snowman. She touched my leg. Okay, kill him. Oh. She's. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Is this a phantasmagoric sequence or did this movie just shift gears? If it's any consolation, you're about to be reunited. Hold on. Oh, Harry. Harry, you're alive. And you're a horrible shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's divine intervention. Special Officer Beth Jordan, FBI. She, she grabbed me down the lobby and explained what was up. Then they slapped this bulletproof vest on me and gave me a gun. Harry, the man for the job. What if he shot you in the face? What if he shot me in the face? That's a risk we were willing to take. A little asterisk there. Read the fine print, Harry. <laughs> oh, man. And the plot thickened. The plot congealed. Oh, Bobby. Bobby? Is he easy? There's someone I want to introduce you to. The kindest, gentlest man I've ever met. He's <laughs> He's livid. <laughs> He's apoplectic. Oh, hi, Bobby. I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's funny. Thank you both very much. Unrequited love, am I right? <laughs> oh, snap. That's hilarious. <laughs> he started blasting. Asking ye shall, asking ye shall receive. Hi y'all. Hey Alihupa. Hey guys. Ahuga. And we're looking for two oil boys who can grease us up before each competition. <laughs> two oil boys. <laughs> you are in luck. There's a town about three miles that way. I'm sure you'll find a couple guys there. <laughs> what? Okay. Thanks. Hey, they were handed to you on a silver platter. What's the matter? You mad hatter? You realize what you've done? <laughs> <laughs> Reality sank in. You'll have to excuse my friend. He's a little slow. The town is back that way. Uh, okay. I thought... <laughs> oh, these guys got a couple of screws loose. And I thought he was going to tighten it and say, we'll be the oil boys. Don't worry. We'll catch 
catch our break too. Oh man. And they walk off into the horizon. Wait, are there more Dumb and Dumbers? Because I do want to see them flourish in this worm business, LLC. But all right, that was uh, Dumb and Dumber. And if I had to, gun to my head, if I had to hazard a guess, I couldn't tell you who is dumb and who is dumber because they are both a delightful form of ignorant and, <laughs> you know, delusional. And they have a charm to them. Not unlike Michael Scott's character exhibiting the Dunning-Kruger effect. People who think they're crushing it, think they're very talented. And yet, the light's not on up there. The light is not on. And this is a funny movie. This is a hilarious movie. <laughs> I tell you. Case of the mistaken identity. And I thought, you know, in my heart of hearts, I guess I'm a hopeless romantic as well. Because in my heart of hearts, I thought... Lloyd would have gotten the girl. Mary would have said, oh, thank you for saving my life. Girl, let's just get married. But, hey. Silly me. Silly me. Peter Farrelly, though. Yeah, I, I, you know, I had a good time watching this. I had a good time watching this. You know, I, I appreciate a movie that is self-aware in the formula. And then just the passion of making a movie. And being absurd and being goofy and outlandish and providing a an entertaining story. You know, it's not a lot of <laughs> it's, it's, the, the, the script is not that complex, <laughs> but it is thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining and delightful and enjoyable. And survey says, I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. And <laughs> he started blasting, dude. After Bobby gets out of the back of the police cruiser and is revealed to be her <laughs> significant other, her boyfriend. <laughs> that was quite too much for our protagonist, Lloyd. Here. In his head, he was Operation <laughs> Empty the Clip. That's funny. Oh, my cheeks hurt from laughing from this. Oh, and I like word. I like the wordplay. Like when um, Lloyd's bladder runneth over. He had to pee in those bottles and the cop comes over. He's like, pull over. And then Harry's like, it's a cardigan. Thank you. Just stuff like that. There's a small jokes like that really, you know, butter my bread. It really colors my <laughs> crayon. Hmm. Colors my crayon. Uh, I'll let it stand. Uh, yeah. I'm going to watch some more goofy comedies like this. I haven't seen The Mask. I haven't seen Ace Ventura. There's another obvious Jim Carrey movie because, you know, I know him as a stand-up comedian in interviews and more serious roles like Eternal Sunshine and Man on the Moon, the Andy Kaufman biopic, which was kind of serious, though. Kind of serious if you pull the camera back a bit. Um, I don't know what else Jeff Daniels has been, but I like these two together. They have a certain chemistry. They have a certain gel to them comedically. And, you know, it's so dark. I have a dark sense of humor. And the fact that he, <laughs> he traded. Oh, was it, was it those chips? He, <laughs> he raised $25 by selling that dead parakeet. That is just pitch black midnight dark humor that is in my wheelhouse. That's not my wheelhouse for better or for worse. I like some levity. I like some wild comedic swings, you know, um, but yeah, Dumb and Dumber. What, what year was this? If I had to guess, I would say like late nineties, early aughts. I mean, I don't know, obviously by the time I upload this, but yeah, this was a, this is a great time. A great time. You can't ask for much more. Uh, a movie, a director, a screenwriter who knows what he's trying to do and executes it flawlessly. You know, this is flawlessly executed for this movie, what this movie set out to be. They stuck the landing, as it were, gymnastically speaking. But, uh, yeah, hoist that guy was hoisted on his own petard. You know, he was tracking him down. He's a hitman. And then he discovered, oh, these are just some numbskulls. They're not any uh, sophisticated criminals and die by his own poison. A little poetic death, if you will. 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing more comedies. Leave me some suggestions, some slapstick, just balls to the wall, humor filled, you know, chuckle laden movies that you think I should watch. And uh, I will be thoroughly indebted to you. But I'll wrap up now. Thank you for watching with me this far. I appreciate ya. I appreciate movies. Moving pictures are the best thing since sliced bread. And if you want to do me a solid, do your boy a solid and like this video. Leave me some comments down below, you know, because the algorithm is, you know, I can't make heads or tails of the algorithm, but I know commenting does not hurt. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can get early access to all of my videos and full length unedited, the whole shebang unedited, the whole kitten caboodle over there on the Patreon, Mr. Valentine Reacts, another heartfelt gratitude towards my patrons over there i appreciate you guys keeping me buoyant you know just just another way to have some acknowledgement and recognition for the videos we put out here on this channel but i appreciate you and as always until we meet again